Hello, Dark Moon Doll here. Today I'm going to do a show called Monday Morning. Well, it's not morning anymore, it's afternoon. So let's say Monday Afternoon Rant. And it's basically a show that I do on Mondays where I talk about things in the world that downright uh, disappoint me, irk me, uh, confuse me at the moment, but eventually I understand exactly why these things are being done. So today what I wanted to talk to you guys about and I did a video about this already, but the video didn't really turn out. I had to delete it. <clears throat> I was going to post it last week. But um, the fact that uh, Tom Hanks is playing the role of Mr. Rogers in an adaptation of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood in movie form. And that's coming out soon. And there was a trailer that I watched about it, uh, I think it was last week. And I was very, very angry by it because Mr. Rogers... Um, has been a household name for a lot of people in the Generation X mode, like me, I'm, I'm considered Generation X, um, during that time period. A lot of, I mean now too, a lot of children didn't have uh, parents that were always there with them, so they had Mr. Rogers to talk to them. <laughs> and I know that's a poor substitute for a parent, but a lot of times, <laughs> you know, my parents were always busy. They believe, didn't believe in like sitting down and watching programs with their child all the time. Um, so when I watched Mr. Rogers, it was quite the experience because he was talking directly to you, looking right at you, and opposed to the cartoons or the TV shows that I watched where it wasn't so uh, involved. Uh, it's a, it, gives, it gave kids a sense of... Um, security, a sense of, uh, you know, feeling like somebody actually cares about them. So that's what that represented, and Tom Hanks doesn't represent that to me. Um, if you've seen him on uh, past TV talk shows, there's one talk show that he was on where he um, did a skit, it was a long ass skit too, where a little girl was dressed up like, kind of like John, John Benet Ramsey, only even worse, more uh, like a prostitute. This is a little girl, and she's going along with it and playing along with it because she's programmed to do so. You know, Tom Hanks is acting as her handler, and he's saying stuff like, what a pretty baby you are, you know, like, something like, De show daddy this and all that, and just gross, like. And um, this is the same guy that is going to be playing Mr. Rogers from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. So check that out. Look it up online. Look it up on YouTube. You'll see the TV, the show, the appearance where he did that skit, and it was very elaborate and long. It's like it was thought out, and this kid is in the mix of all this shit. And um, I'm not gonna come to you and tell you that I know for sure that Tom Hanks is an abuser of children, but I don't, I don't know that for sure. But it feels like it when you watch, when you see him in things like this, and it's very ironic and strange that in that movie, the movie that he was in, Tom Hanks, The Burbs, back in the 80s, I have a copy, of, no, do I have a copy of that movie still? I may not, no. But anyway, in the beginning of that movie, in the opening of it, they were playing an episode from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. So this shit's planned, I feel like. You can say it's not all you want, but this shit's planned. Holly Weird has everything planned out, and... If you think about it, the main reason why television was invented, a television in gen general was invented, it was supposed to be a mind control machine. And it did work very successfully with a lot of people, especially children. You know, and that's what they were hoping for, to be able to mind control children. That's the main people, but they end up mind controlling everybody, children, adults, whatever. And um, that's what it was invented for. If you think of it that way, then it does make sense why this is all orchestrated like this. It's all planned. So people are getting warm and fuzzy feelings about Tom Hanks because Tom Hanks was in these popular movies. First of all, he was in um, Forrest Gump. He was in um, Bosom Buddies. He was in the movie Philadelphia. He was, he was in so many fucking movies to the point where it's hard for people to see him as anything but that, anything but a great actor. And I fell for it too. Then I saw that that skit or whatever it was a really elaborate skit, 
and I've seen him in interviews since that, and I just feel like this guy's full of shit, and he's up to no good. It just feels that way. His intentions are just horrible. So anyway, I just wanted to bring that to you guys for a rant for today on Monday. Didn't make it to, to the morning time for the rant, but um, yeah, that's how I feel about it. I'm not going to go see that movie. Um, I watched the trailer on YouTube, and I thought it was just it was just horrible that this guy gets gets away with doing this. So, anyway, I'm not saying that I know for sure that this is what this guy is all about, but it feels that way when you look at him in this really long, elaborate um, skit that he does on this talk show, nighttime talk show, with his kid, you know, and it's not even funny. I don't see how anybody would think that to be funny. So, anyway... <laughs> Be discerning of what you watch and don't follow for the pulling of the heartstring shit because that's what they're trying to do. Bring back the old um, the old TV shows and the old memories and make you feel nostalgic and you'll watch any fucking thing just to feel that way again. But Tom Hanks is no, he's no Mr. Rogers and don't be fooled by that. Alrighty guys, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for the over 2,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Thank you for um, likes and shares, and thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below. You know, I really don't want to hear a bunch of people gushing all over um, Tom Hanks and telling me how great he is and how could I say mean things about him. I don't give a fuck. It is what it is. I thought he was a good guy at one point, too. But then when you see things to back up just the opposite, then you change your mind. So, with that said, brightest blessings to you all, and I'll see you soon.